in this video i want to explain what you have in an inverter system so that you can understand think about your phone your phone runs on a battery you charge it you plug in your charger it charges the battery full you unplug when it's 100 percent you unplug the battery i mean the charger and you can run maybe for the whole day on the phone the same thing is for inverter what in an inverter you have a battery just like you have in your phone a battery to store up energy now what you do is that the energy that is stored up in the battery is for you to run your house but the electricity in the battery is dc current this is a little bit of physics and you don't need to really cram it it's dc current direct current a dc current cannot power most electronics in the house because what we use in the house is ac current alternating current so for you to use your battery to power your house you need a device that will convert the dc current to ac current that your tv your fans your light bulb needs so that is where an inverter comes in inverter takes the dc current converts it to ac current and sends it to your house to power your house just like generator powers the house or nepa powers the house so that's what an inverter does now that is for an inverter and how do you charge this battery you will need electric current from the national grid that is nepa you will need it to charge that battery so every time the battery runs down you need electric current to charge it and so that when the battery is charged back to 100 percent the battery can supply the house but what if in a situation where you don't have nepa national grid to charge your battery that's where solar comes in in a solar uh, inverter you have the solar panel solar charge controller solar panel takes sunlight converts it to electricity and send it to the battery but first it needs to go through the solar charge controller solar charge controller is like the brain of the solar panel it tells the panel when to charge the battery it tells the panel that oh the battery is 100 percent just like in your phone the battery is 100 percent stop it also checks some other things that we don't need to get into but that's just the primary work of the solar panel so when you're buying your inverter system or solar system remember that you need majorly four components there are some other components but the four major components is one your solar panel two your solar charge controller three your inverter and four your battery i believe that explains it if you have more questions please comment and i can explain further thank you very much